Hey, what is up guys? Welcome back. So I just wanted to make a video um, kind of just offering you guys some of my thoughts on or opinions on the crystal shop that was implemented in the last patch. I think it's one of the bigger things of this patch. This and I think it's probably the biggest thing of this patch. Um, and it really, really only affects players that are that are like, you know, somewhat pay to play because you can't really afford to use your gems to summon a lot now. It's kind of like, you know, that's that's not really possible to do because you basically you need to use your gems to keep refreshing and keep farming. Um, obviously, you, if you farm B10, there's a way to actually like you know make more astro gems, but it's still re relatively slow, and uh, most free-to-play players are relatively limited in the amount of astro gems they can get. So most of them probably aren't going to be doing the 11 plus one summons. They might do do some of them occasionally, like they ha might have some extra crystals to use occasionally, but most of the time they probably won't. Um, Especially in the future, like if they don't, uh, if the game doesn't introduce any other ways for us to get more crystal or more astrogens, then people are just going to be refreshing and using their astrogens faster and faster. At some point, if they don't make the astrogen gain faster, um, you know, people are going to run out of astrogens every month while they're while they're farming. Um, obviously, that's not good, and obviously, I don't think. I don't think that's going to happen. Like, there are definitely going to be new ways to get more astrogens in the future, just to kind of balance that out. Like, you know, for the majority of players, like the the amount of time it takes for you to run a certain dungeon is like, you know, like you know, for example, I run um, B7 it takes me four minutes. But maybe in the future, like sometime in the future, like maybe when I get to B10, my B10 run might take me six minutes when I start. But then I'll have new monsters, new new teams, and my B10 run will be cut down to maybe like um, you know like four minutes or something like that and if I'm if I'm like already going down slowly in astrogens while I'm farming when, when I'm when I have a six minute team if I all of a sudden have a four minute team and there's no extra way for me to get astrogens at some point I'm gonna run out you know it's just it's just uh it's just how how, how math is all right it's just how math is and I, I don't think they're gonna they're gonna make like really really crazy ways to to get astrogens but but right now I'm still able to like maybe do two or so 11 plus summons with the astro gems I get not including the astro gems that I buy um, you know just just by just by playing the game playing through the game and you know evolving monsters and getting getting astro gems um, but I think the the main the main implication of the or I mean the main, uh, I would say the effect, main, the main effect of them putting crystals into the game is going to not, I don't think it's necessarily really going to affect the people that are like, you know, really, really hardcore, like, like the whales that like just spend a shit ton, um, because most of them already have like, already have a lot, like they have, they, most of them have like all the nat 5s, they can make an evil 3 nat 5 because they, they, They've been summoning so much, and they have so many copies of it. And um, I think for them, the the bonus is they're going to be able to get rare monsters, like the ones that actually spend a lot might have like actually a lot of like light dark nat nat fours and fives um, in the future because of because they can just buy these. And I don't think they necessarily need the gleams because the gleams are kind of for um, I would say the gleams are the have the best value. But they only have the best value if you're if you're not hardcore pay to win because for someone that is like really hardcore pay to win they might have a lot of extra four star five star monsters that they don't need you know so they can they can afford to like you know sure they can buy the gleam as well like obviously you don't want to you don't want to evil three and arthur using 16 arthurs like it's probably better to evil three and arthur with four arthurs so you, you still kind of need need to use the gleam but since they're spending a lot they're definitely going to be able to afford this anyways and then they can still buy these when they when they want um or when they spend a lot more you know but i think for for players like similar to to me like for my in my situation that don't spend that much but still spend a little bit like this is really really nice because it means that your your um your like whatever you spend is is now worth more because you're you're going to be able to get a little bit of a bonus um in in addition to whatever you you bought in your pack 
you know so if you if you guys want some math like this to, to buy this it costs it costs you 600 right and you get um, 33 every every 11 plus 10 summon so you basically need to run this like um, to run this like 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 you need to do like 18 ish summons before you can afford this wait my math is bad is that right yeah I think I think that's right 18 ish it's like 300 is like 10 do that 10 times and then you do it like almost 20 times and then it's like 18 times so yeah you have to basically do the 11 plus 10 summons like 18 times in order to buy this that's that's actually a lot like like that is 2000 like 2,400 uh, crystals, if you buy this for $90, if you buy this for $90, 2,400 crystals, um, you can do 6 summons, you want to do 18 summons, so that's like 3 times that. So you basically need to buy 3 of these packs in order to, in order to get the gleams, basically, if you're, if you're a pay to, pay to play player, like if you're paying for, to do that. Um, obviously, you're, if you have some leftover crystals, then you can just use the, or not crystals, um, astro gems. You can use the astro gems to, to summon and then you'll be able to get the crystals. Um, but, you know, obviously that's going to take a few months. So I think, I think, um, like pragmatically speaking, or, or realis real, realistically speaking, I mean, uh, not pragmatic, uh, realistically speaking, the, the pay to play players probably won't be able to afford this. Unless they save for about, um, I don't know, like if, unless they save for, for, for like, I don't know, I would say, say like if you do like two a, a, a week, like it might take you, uh, or two a month, like if you do like two crystal summons a month, um, you, it might take you like nine months to, to actually get this. So I think I think for most like completely players that are completely free to play, it might be better for you to buy the legendary egg, because if you think about it, like these are gleams. Like gleams are for are resources for when you need to, um, you know, six star or not six star, um, evolve not evolve. Um, yes, evolve evolve a monster. Uh, when you need to evolve a monster, you need the gleams and the. They're replacements, but gleams are a replacement for actual four-star monsters. If you think about it, if you think about this, um, this is a chance for a four, four-star to five-star monster. So if you get three gleams, it's, each gleam is worth like 200, um, 200 gems, and you can't choose the element, obviously. Um, but a four-star monster, you can, you're basically buying a four-star monster, four-star or five-star monster for 275 um, crystals, and your the 75 extra crystals is like basically the extra cost for a chance to get a five star monster which i think is definitely worth it um if you if you think really hard about it so i think i think it might better be better for um for players in general to to buy the legendary egg because i know a lot of people are focused on the gleans but i think the the legendary egg might be worth the crystals more um, it might be better for for more players to actually get the legendary egg. I think this is probably the, the has the best value. Um, if I if you if you do the math and think about it like that. So I just I just did some math from the top of my head. A lot of it's estimate. It's not like completely accurate, but I think it's pr somewhat. It's fairly around the uh, the right amount of of um, gems and astro gems and and crystals. So yeah, I think that's pretty much uh, that's pretty much it. I this is really weird. If you think about it, think about this. Think about this for a second. The highlight dart egg, three to five star Astromon. This thing costs six hundred. This thing only costs two hundred and seventy five. If you take a look at this this pack, if you if you buy this, um, like basically, if you buy two of these packs. It's pretty much the same as. Well, actually, you get you get um. Wait, 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 wait. I think my math is bad. You get a hundred less astrogens, but you get a hundred more energy, and you 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 get two light dark eggs instead of one legendary egg. 
if you buy two of these packs rather than this pack. So I think the, the value is kind of weird, because it's like, for the packs, the legendary egg is is worth, it's like the the bigger, like the, the greater of the two. But if you take a look, look at the crystals, then um, the legendary egg is like the, the cheaper, and it's, it's much, much cheaper than, than the like dark egg. So I think, I don't know, I think the game make, made it so like this thing has more value. I'm not entirely sure. Um, but I, but I did get a lot of lightnings in like my light dark egg summons. I think I did like six, six or seven of them, and then like three of them were were lightnings, which is, which is pretty high. Um, but yeah, that's that's just that's just some. It's like a little bit off topic, but it's still kind of about the same thing. I don't. There's video has no like real purpose. I'm not trying to. Um, you know, promote some message. I'm just trying to bring up some discussion because I've noticed a few things about how how the prices, how things are priced, and actually thinking about it like mathematically, like doing actually doing the calculations. You'll think that you'll you actually see like, um, in my opinion, the legendary egg has the highest value in the shop, and you can get one a week. So this is definitely really really good. I'm probably going to be buying a lot of this instead of the gleams. Originally, I thought the gleams was was the best, but I think. I think if you think about it like that, the the legendary egg might be might be worth it more. Yeah, so that's pretty much it. Um, hopefully, hopefully you guys found this video somewhat helpful. Uh, hopefully, it just made you guys think of some things. And I, yeah, it's not it's not really a guide. It's just um, it's not for sure yet, but because this is just a just a first look. And also, this is very opinion based because you can't. You can't mathematically calculate the rate of a four-star or five-star summon. I, they, they didn't really release it yet, but I mean, I guess if you use the rates, you can still calculate that. But that's still completely RNG. So, um, and it, it differs between you know from player to player. So, I think it, when the two things are like priced um, fairly around the same range, it's really just your preference, you know, and, and it's based on situation and what monsters you have. If you necessary, if you like, just really need a monster to um, gleam and stuff. Anyways, um, I'm I've been rambling on too much, but I think this is a pretty good ramble. And if you guys enjoyed this, definitely leave me a like. If you guys hated this video, then leave me a dislike. And if you, um. I don't know. There's there's nothing else. I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Anyways, thanks for watching. Peace out.